Let's go through what I've read this week, huh? Yeah, let's do that thing. I'm not going to go too much in depth, um, because, yeah, it's just go on forever when I do that. Right, so I read some comics that were given to me by uh, Simple Simon. He sent me some modern stuff, uh, the Three Jokers. It was a decent enough read. Um, nothing mind-blowing. There's like a kind of, I suppose, a, a, I don't know, a reveal at the end, which sort of like to me was like, mm, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I want to give spoilers or not, but uh, if you've not read it by now, he's just like, um... Alright, I've got to give spoilers, so if you don't want to know what happened, don't don't watch it. Skip, a, skip ahead a minute. But basically, Batman says he's always known who the Joker was. He, he, was, he knew him in, I don't know, an hour of ever first seeing him, but he knew who the Joker was. Um, I don't know why he never bothered telling anybody else in the Bat family. Um... But somehow he knew who the Joker was, but he didn't know there was three Jokers. What? Huh? You tell me you're such a good detective, you discover, you found out who the Joker was pretty quickly, but but you don't, but you didn't realise there was three of them. That kind of like seemed to destroy the premise of the whole thing in in the first place. Surely, if there'd been three Jokers, you would have known. I mean, they're not like, not identical clones of each other, are they? They're slightly different, and they look. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> well, what else did I read? Uh, it's the Spider-Man. Uh, with um, Dominic Fortune. A reasonable enough story. Just trying to fill up gaps in my in my runs, to be honest. Uh, yeah. There's a few Web of Spider-Man ones that I didn't get. I'm not really uh, going hard on them, you know. I just get them when I get them. When I, when I see them going cheap, I'll pick them up. Uh, Witching Hour, I can't remember what particular stories are in this one, but uh, which you know, an old DC uh, bronzy horror anthology is always good. Same with this one. I remember the lead story in this one. They found a some kids found a pirate skull, and it, uh, it kind of like um, took over the the ghost of the pirate took over one of the boys and wanted them to become pirates or something. Uh, this cover is highly misleading, I believe. There's no woman in this story. There's a, a a hockey goalkeeper, ice hockey goalkeeper, who's cheating his team by deliberately letting shots in uh, for, for betting purposes. And when they find out he's done it, he ends up killing the whole team. And, and then he gets haunted and killed by the uh, by the ghosts of his uh, the people he's murdered. He basically blew up a whole plane. <laughs> wow. Right, I read these time warp comics i've got the first four of five each one has got eight science fiction stories in they're yeah, pretty decent stories quite fun um quite dark though Even quite quite a lot of stories it's just like oh that's kind of like oh hmm. <laughs> like a story of um uh this like, chorus line of ladies they get um taken off to uh, a planet where the the, the, the men who take them off to their planet uh, actually spiders who can change their shape and they're known as black widowers and they're just going to eat the women and it was like well that was normally when in a horror comic it's normally someone gets their comeuppance who's, a, who's an arse you know someone who deserves their comeuppance but these just happened to be some ladies that were just spirited away by some aliens to be their supper well to shag them first because that's what the idea was they were black widows and so yeah, so it was kind of like, hmm, that's a lot darker than it needs to be. Have they really considered the implications of what they're saying in this story? Are they gonna, it's, they're going to basically rape the women and eat them. <sighs> yeah, you might want to think of that one through a bit more. <laughs> this was a bit of a disappointment because it's got a middle page missing. It affects the story. <sighs> I don't know, I have no idea where I even got it from. Which person I bought it from eBay or if I got it from a seller on Facebook, but you know the middle pages are missing. I lost one page of story. I was able to go online just to get the end of the story, but it's kind of a disappointment. It's a shame that shame I didn't notice that at the time. Right, a couple more uh, Bronze Age uh, 
DC horrors. This is one I showed on Cover Slingers. <laughs> this is Man Cave. Man Cave Comics in his in his lizard form. This is when he's not wearing his human suit. <laughs> uh, no, not really, of course. But yeah, that is quite fun. There's a looks like there's a feature, a, a green glob weirdy, and uh, I, I'm guessing it was like a running story because it way it was portrayed. It was like it was a character like a, this green glob was going to come back or. Oh, it had already been used, and it was it was anyway interesting stuff. The green glob kind of um, made two people who were enemies go into uh, teleport them to an island where they learnt to live with each other and uh, you know work together kind of thing rather than being at loggerheads. Uh, right, another super boy. Don't worry, this was only a robot par. It wasn't a real par. Uh, yeah, robots are taking over par Lana. And uh, another guy from the town, but Superboy soon sorts it out. Right, and I've read a few uh, Super Friends. Uh, <laughs> I discovered I had one Super Friends comic from like when I was a kid. I don't remember picking it up, to be honest, where I got it. But I thought I'd see if I could try and get the rest of the run. So I pick them up every now and again when I see them. They're just like uh, silly, fun, um, cartoon-related uh, superhero stories. Uh, the, the powers of the uh, the Wonder Twins are quite daft. One can become any form of water, the other can become any animal. But when it comes to any form of water, it sort of stretches it a bit by becoming like a snowman or becoming a a frozen ice guy. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's just hokey old uh, superhero stuff, but it's good fun. Um, there's a couple of backup stories of, of Plastic Man as well. Now, there's one thing that I don't think they, they, they sort of worked out. Um... They kept using the word bollocks. Bollocks, oh, that's bollocks that up. Uh, just to say that's, that's fouled something up, that's messed that up. But but bollocks is um, it's just an alternate spelling of bollocks, which is testicles, which is, you know... And I don't think that was appropriate language for a, a children's aimed comic book. It's like, oh, that's bollocks that up. But it's just like, yeah, that's bollocks that up. Which is just, it's like, that's not that's not appropriate language for a, for a children's aimed comic book. Did they not realise what they were, they were writing or didn't put any thought into it? But as far as I was concerned, I don't think you should be writing bollocks in a, in a children's comic. <laughs> Even if it is an alternate spelling of it. But um, yeah, I, I think maybe the, the writer didn't really uh, think that one through maybe when they chose to put bollocks in a, in a kid's uh, comic book twice <laughs> anyway yeah so that's it that's what i've read this week uh cheers for tuning in uh yeah talk to you all soon hopefully and uh yeah i hope you have a great amazing day and until next time may all your news be good news have a great amazing day i'll have a great amazing day have a great amazing day I hope you have a amazing day.